Okay. This right here is a perk that, um, oh, who's that? Um, that, um, SUV over there. And other than that bus park, that SUV right there is a perk that's, um, it's a, a perk that's sitting there waiting for me right after I went one hand like, a perp sitting there waiting for me, you know, as I left the library. I thought that black truck was, um, you know, I thought that, mistakenly thought that black truck was a, a perp waiting. And look, they want to come with their noise harassment, their loud music. Hi. So, um, they've been harassing me bad yesterday. And, you know, I'm supposed to be saving my battery. And it's supposed to rain tonight. Um, get off your phone. Ew, flies trying to fly all close to me. Damn. So, um, I'm 37 years old and college educated. Move. I don't have a reason to play games. Come on, bitch. Young ass kids. Where's my car? So with this walk, see the fire truck theme. Oh, people hated the most. People hated the most when I exposed the fire trucks and ambulance. Now, if you were really targeted, I don't care how much you hate me, you wouldn't give me thumbs down. I'm sitting here wondering why so many flies out here this, this evening. I'm glad I'm not downtown. And they have all so much bizarre events to go on. Um... So, I, um, it's like everybody had the he one headlights just before I um, started filming. So much weirdness. All right, you see that white? That white Toyota Tundra. Funny headlights. You, you brighten your lights and then wait till you get close to me to um so yeah before you want to call me a shill or you know a fake paid targeted person you know stop projecting you know it seems like I can never be able to get to run and hide. Ever since early childhood, you know, I've probably been taught. I don't even know if I was targeted from birth, but I don't have the answers. If I was targeted from birth or just early um, foster care or during my teenage years. That's when everything start was, you know, I've been singled out and hated from since kindergarten or first grade. There's that same condom again. Um, get off your phone. She got her phone up by her rearview mirror and messing with it. So they vibrated me at the library almost all day. I don't even want, I don't want to ride the dirty buses anymore. It's making me feel more and more uncomfortable. Not that I fear catching coronavirus, but my usual quote unquote, you know, the OCD, you know, and then you have less freedom or less of a chance to sit. And I mean, there's only a limit of seats, of choices of seats you can sit in. I mean, it make me feel like having like, 
nervous, like a um, meltdown just from riding those dirty buses, you know, and then I have no home. I mean, it's very fucked up for me. If, if the foster mom conditioned me to have OCD and then forcefully leave me in an environment. See that BMW is bright near lights though on the left side. I mean, then leaving me um, on purpose, leaving me to be, you know, forced homeless with no way, nowhere to take a shower. This is everyday torture and torment. And, you know, I'm scared to kind of even get a place, a permanent place, because, I mean, even with the vibrating that I'm dealing with right now, I, I mean, as I said, you know, it didn't seem like I would end up dealing with the vibrating as long as I was on the streets. You, you know, because it hadn't happened until a couple after. You know what? I think after dealing with Mary from that hotel, I think they started to use more homeless people to perp me. Plus, they've been forced vibrating me really bad on the streets. They must be really angry with me. You know? And so, um, you know, they had that person, the fake T.I. perp, that calls herself. The fake T.I. perp that calls her, get, get off of me, damn nasty. The fake T.I. perp that calls herself uh, equestrian Brie or targeted Brie, who's like trying to get me to come live with her. I heard horror stories about her. And um, she tried to even falsely say that that Marion lady was my handler. I'm like, I know you're bullshitting, you know. Um, so it's like um, it's like I'm getting the increased hate and less um, less help. You know, you're not proving anything, but you can say, oh, that's proof that candy's, you know, but go after the ones who, I mean, you know, but then, I, I mean, and, and that equestrian breed, she, um, she is a narcissistic abuser, and she, she talked about her $80,000 a year. She lied about pretty much, she lied about pretty much, um, everything, you know, so, um, it's like, that was a false hope thrown out the window, look at this, you want to be seen, brightening their lights, brightening and plus the color red, you're Satanist. You know, so, um, I, I, bitch, I dare you try to run over me with your car. And look, she filming me, a black female. When she was filming me, and was going to try to run me over, if I didn't, if I wasn't filming then, you know, she looked like she was about to try to run over me. Y'all saw that. So, I have no reason to lie or play games. But apparently there are some fakes and phonies who do have the time and reason to lie and play games. Look at this shit. Sociopathic, narcissistic show-off. And that actually, you're, you're a gay coward. That doesn't even make you an extra man. Because people who are punks and really gay, they want to front like as if they're tougher and harder and more real than, you know, than people who are actually real. So, um... 
I'm going to go right here, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.